Our next question is, what is the statute of limitation on a car loan? And it, here's what the, the person means by that. So you have a car loan and uh, the car company says you defaulted on that loan. It might have been with Santander, Citibank, uh, Cap One Auto, whoever it may be. And now some debt buyer. Uh, AutoVest is a big one. Cascade Capital LLC. That's kind of a new one for us in Alabama, at least in terms of the volume that they're now filing. And so they come along and sue you. And they typically will sue well after the statute of limitation. So let's talk about this. On a car loan, not every car loan, but almost every car loan that we see anyway, statute of limitation is actually four years. Okay. Now in Alabama, typically a breach of contract is going to be six years, but these car loans are governed by a different law. So normally it's four years. Well, when does that four years start? Well, it normally starts when you miss your payments. And it certainly starts when they repo the car and they say, hey, it is all due right now. Okay, you, you can't keep making payments every month starting this month and this month. And, no, it's all due right now. Well, then if you don't pay it right now, then that's going to start statute of limitation. And so typically here's what we see. We'll have a lawsuit, let's say Cascade files a lawsuit in October 2015. So you may now just be getting served with it. And it'll be for a repossession from back in, say, 2008. And so after the repossession, then they sell the car, then they write you a letter. It says, hey, we you owe 15000 We sold your car for 5000 so you owe us ten. Well, statute of limitations really would have started before then, but certainly at that point, it starts. We've got four years. They need to be suing you in 2012. 2015. And so what does that mean? It means you have a valid defense. Say you sued me too late. Now again, with AutoVest, Cascade, the other defense is you don't even own the debt. You know, you're this debt buyer, you're suing me, you claim you owe it or, or own it, but you really don't own it. Okay. Or yeah, they'll say, oh yeah, yeah, we know we own it. And then they come to court and they don't prove it. So I don't really care if whether they owned it and they just refused to prove it or they never owned it and they could not prove it. It really doesn't matter to me because the point is when you sue somebody, you have to prove your case. So you've got that defense, you got statute of limitation defense. And then what you do is you look at suing them in federal court. And again, money damages, that's what will get their attention and get them thinking, maybe we shouldn't do this in Alabama. So if you've been sued by AutoVest, Cascade Capital, there's a whole bunch of these places and it's on a car loan, definitely check out your rights on that.